In this video, we're going to look at types in Python. So in Python, variables can point at different kinds of things. You could have a variable called width and you could assign a value to it, like an integer value. And later on, you could assign instead a string value to it if you want. In some programming languages, variables themselves have types. So you could have a variable that is an int type and can only refer to ints, to whole numbers. And you could have a variable that's a string type, for example. But it doesn't work like that in Python. Python has something called dynamic typing, which basically means in very basic terms that variables don't have types. On the other hand, it is important to know what type of a thing a variable actually refers to. And if you forget what type of thing a variable refers to, you can find out using the built-in type function. And by the way, before I forget, I've called this file python underscore types dot pi rather than just types dot pi. And that's because I found out through bitter experience that if I call it types dot pi, that actually conflicts with some built-in Python package and causes problems in certain kinds of programs. That's not a problem you'll often encounter though. So let's take a look at this width variable. I'm going to use print to print something out. And what I want to print is the return value of the type function. And to the type function, I'm going to pass width as an argument. Arguments being just things that we pass to functions. So I'm passing width to the type function and that returns a value. It gives us a value back, which I then print using print. We're not somehow printing the type function itself here. We're only printing what it gives us back. We're printing its return value in technical terms. So if I run this, We see, we get some text here that says class int. We'll be talking about classes and objects in depth later on in this course. But for now, the important point is that it's telling us that width refers to an int value, an integer value. We can also try this with length. Let's try it. And you can probably guess what we'll get back. That's also an int. But watch what happens if we change 22 to, let's say, 22.5 for length. Now what we've got is a float. So this is another possible built-in Python type of object that is used to store floating point numbers, numbers with a decimal point in them. Now, if we do this calculation, so 15 times 22.5, that's going to give us a floating point value. So area is also going to be floating point now. Let's take a look. And we can see that area also has class float. Now, basically everything in Python is an object. And one of the things that means is that we can use the type function on practically everything. So for example, we could find out what is the type of this text here, which is a kind of an object. Let's run it. Object has a technical definition, which we'll look at later. And you can see here that the type of this string literal is str, that's its type meaning it's a string type, it's some text, a string of characters. We can even try the type function on functions, which are themselves also objects. So let's take a look and try type on print. Now in this case, I'm only gonna type print by itself. I'm not gonna put round brackets after it. If I put round brackets here, like an open and close round bracket directly after print, that would actually run the print function. 
and with empty round brackets after it, it would just simply create a new line in the console, an empty line. If I run the type function and I supply the name print to it, then we can actually get something sensible back. We can see that print is a kind of built-in function or method. A method is a function that's attached to an object, but we haven't covered that yet, so don't worry about it. What this is basically telling us is that print is a function. So again, there's no need to memorize anything here, but what it is important to do is try this out for yourself. You can use this program or some other program and try printing out the types of things and see what they are in your program. This is a free video from my Python and machine learning course. I'm uploading some videos from the start of the course to get you started with Python. The full course is absolutely huge and teaches you Python and the basics of machine learning and artificial intelligence with a ton of exercises and solutions. Please click the link in the description for the full course.